Every day is the same in the life of Bubba the Bulldog. Wakes up, feeling hungover, lays in bed for an hour. I think he has that post-Christmas depression. He has the Christmas hangover. A Christmas hangover? <laughs> yes. He had too much eggnog last night. Come on, get up. We gotta get up. You're gonna be late for work. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh. Late for school again. All that alcohol I drank last night. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Breakfast of champions. What do you have? Chobani. <laughs> Chobani is good. Yeah, I usually have this for breakfast. And uh, like a banana. Okay. And then this propel that has um, all the electrolytes you need, especially after you have too much wine. <laughs> and no calories. And this is my favorite flavor actually. It's um, kiwi strawberry. Look at you. You're such a, a picture of health. Yeah. And, and youth. I'm kidding. Oh God. I've never done that. Oh my She's God. joking. She's joking. Oh my God. I would never do anything like okay. that. Okay, we're here. Have fun All at right. school. Here's Backrack. Backrack is the best and rehab I hospital you up today? in South Jersey. Yeah, pick me up at 4.30. Why are you trying to promote your work? <laughs> Have a good day. All right, bye. Bye. How is everyone doing today, this day after Christmas? Maybe a bit hungover, maybe the belly's a little too big. I'm not gonna lie, I like to indulge in sweets. I have a sweet tooth, and I had a bit too much wine last night. So that means today I'll be on that rowing machine for probably a good hour and a half. Oh. I love the kind of classic music. Down here they have lots of good old classic music stations. Let's go meet up with Mr. Conover, grab some breakfast on the bay, start the day off right. Well, look what the cat dragged in. How are you this morning? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm sleepy. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Brian. Straight out of Goodfellas. Thank you. You know you're in southern New Jersey when you bring your own coffee and breakfast. It's sneaky, sneaky. Look at that, I transferred the Wawa coffee into the cup. Oh, I'm gonna get some French toast. And... You need to watch your diet. He says, I'm gonna get some French toast and... And you want butter on that? You want just a stick of butter on there too? Eggs Benedict. Today we're working out, your basement. Wrong machine. That's it. I'm telling you. You jump on that wrong machine every day for 30 minutes. You eat a little scrap while you get some muscle on. Oh! <laughs> did, you, did you hear that? A little did you scrapple. hear him busting my balls in the diner? A little scrap. You got thick it up. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. You want to talk about post holiday blues? Today has been the just laziest, just blob, sit on the couch, kind of like this dog behind me, just laying there for the past four hours. I had an amazing breakfast with my dad, we had real good conversation. I came back to my mom's house, got a lot of work done, which I had to do. I had to do it. Then you fast forward five hours and it's starting to get dark. Bubba is still in the same spot where he has been the whole day. We sat here and we watched the movie together, but I found something very, very interesting. I had no clue this even existed. This right here, is a journal. Eric Conover, 2001. There's some deep stuff in here. I forgot I even had this thing. I've been keeping journals since, I think this has to be one of the first journals. And then back in college for a class, we had to keep a journal every day for the semester, and that's when I kept doing it. It's something that's so natural where it's crazy to think I've been doing it for that long. I read the first few pages and it's very, very personal. I'm gonna read it. I'll read it before this vlog ends. I will read an entry from this journal, but now I'm gonna go pick up my mom from work. What is she doing? Always on that cell phone. Always on that Instagram. Can't put down the phone. What is she doing? I said. Say it with the vigor that you had. <laughs> I pull her, we get back to the house, and we're all kind of bummed out. It's raining, it's shit. My mom puts on her hood and she says, Well, everyone's depressed. It's after the holidays. Yeah, it's <laughs> after the holidays. It's raining. No one wants to do anything. Everybody's, you know, that's it's uh, like a letdown now. Well, you no, know what? New Year's is coming, so there's another holiday. Exactly. But you know what? The days like today, you have to keep the positivity going because, you know, life is a wave. There's crests and there's troughs. And we are in a trough right now. We can't let the post holiday get to us. No, not at all. We cannot. We gotta keep moving. Keep moving forward. Mommy's home. Give me a kiss. He likes to smell my hands for. <gasps> Who's that? Uh, I see so that. I just got the email. What is it? I can't believe this is even happening. What is it? Well, what is it? I can't see <laughs> it. Tell me. Tell well, me. Well, it's the holidays, and I didn't think people were in their offices, but I just got an email. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. Tell me what the hell it is. <laughs> You know how I've been doing lots of Instagram photo shoots? Right. Trying to get back into modeling and all that? Right, right. And like right. posting on Instagram regularly and all that kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just got an email 
very important email from a brand about a very, very big opportunity in 2017 and, and for some modeling. It? Oh, no way. No way. I don't want to. You know, it's one of those things where I, YouTube people always do this and so, social media people, you have big news, but you don't want to put it out there yet. You know what I mean? You don't want to jinx. You, not that you don't want to jinx it, but it's not. I don't know if I can even talk about it yet. Right. All I can say is it's a modeling opportunity with a big brand mm -hmm. and oh potentially in 2017 I could be going to a very cool place to take some very cool pictures. Awesome. It's weird for me because I used to do modeling, remember? Oh, yeah. And it wasn't like, it was okay. I didn't make a lot of money yeah. off it. I didn't get a lot of jobs. And now since doing, I guess, modeling on my own and like finding photographers I want to work with who actually, yeah. you know, know how to shoot me because I'm, I'm a weird looking person. I got a huge chin. I got big little, I look like Jimmy Stewart with a beard. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't believe that just happened. We were literally just talking about how it is a shitty day out. It is raining. It's the day after Christmas. We've been sitting here like this all day. Then just like that, I checked my phone. I'm pumped too. We should go celebrate. I had a wine belly last night. A little. I have one right now actually. A little. All right, I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna let off my steam in the gym. I wish I just hit my head. I jumped up here. I remember I used to think when I'm here, hold the camera for a second. When I was younger, I used to think that I wouldn't stop growing. Remember that? Yeah. I was like 12 and I'd drink coffee because I was afraid that I'd get so tall that I wouldn't be able to walk through the door like this. Like, I'm on my tippy toes right now. <laughs> like, my roommate Is Nick. that why you drank coffee? Yes, that's why I drank coffee. Are you kidding me? Well, I was like, I was like the height I am now when I was 12. I know, I know. And I thought that I was going to keep growing and be like seven foot tall. Like those people who have, uh, where they have the pituitary gland that doesn't stop oh, growing. All right, let's go work out. In the right corner we have Brian Conover weighing in at 190 pounds, standing six foot one, six foot two. <laughs> Here an ounce of good news, just a little bit, even if you're having a shitty day, it changes, oh I got sweat in my eyes, it changes everything. Today is beach muscle day, so the bench press is calling our name, and then we're out of here. 2017, I like the sound of that. All right, enough talking, time to go bench press. Whew. Bubba just finished his workout. He's pooped on the couch. Look at this chicken leg, oh. What are you doing? What is this? That is a wetsuit neck connector thing. I think it's trash though. When you were 11 years old. I know, you read that without my permission. Please. Oh, oh please. You talk about the same stuff you talk about now in your videos in, in this book. What, bad stuff? Today my sister and I will get out our report cards in the mail even though it's seven days after school is over. <laughs> my brother put up a fight because he wouldn't give up something. So I called my dad, then my sister and I had Played bust. We went swimming all day long. Is, it, is the handwriting that bad where you can't read? Is, I don't have let's my see. Let's on. see this stuff. I don't have my readers. My, my trademark. trademark. What, is, your, what is this? 2001. My Gosh. trademark. I'll read some of that later. There's some good stuff in there too. You can't read my damn okay. journal. But we're cleaning out this crap because my mom's taking over my room. Yes. I'm officially kicked out of the parents' house. Yes, we'll see. Yeah, save that. What do you have in your hand there? I found this boss. Modeling agency book. This must be your model book. That was the first agency in New York I was signed with when I was 18 years old. What the hell am I doing here? Look how stern I look in these pictures. I look like I'm in the military or something. Just look how young and how moody I look. Why Why is my fly hunt down? They make you do that. You said they make you do that? They make you take the fly down? Ooh la la. Like I don't even know what to say about this picture. We're going through all the old stuff in this dresser to throw away. Cause like I said, my mom's taking over this room and what? <laughs> Love letters from a long, long time ago. Nostalgia. The nostalgia of, all this stuff here. of your son is now a, a 20 something year old man. I know, it's just very nostalgic going through all this stuff when you guys were little. All right, well these are probably expired. Thanks for embarrassing me in front of the internet, <laughs> mom. Yeah, I'll edit everything that you want me to edit out, I'll edit out. Um, we're gonna finish doing this cleaning and going through all these memories. Uh, a very slow day turning into a very fast day with lots of crazy stuff happening. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to New York City. I will see you guys then. So until tomorrow, everyone, remember to smile more, worry less, and live your passion.